So how many hours was there on the ground? Was there, I mean, That's very small swipe. I saw these were kind of maybe 500 or something. No, there, there's probably a couple of thousand there. A couple of thousand? Yeah, that's small. Mm -hmm. um, for, a, for a swarm, a swarm will have 12 to 15,000. Wow. Uh, roughly the size of a, and shape of a small rugby ball. Uh, you know, there's no one size fits all, but that's a good guideline to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you can see they're all clambering over each other. Go away. I think they have started moving that direction. What is it me looking at? Now they're definitely going across, but are they going in? What will happen is if they're a good sign is that they're somewhere around the entrance and they start flapping their wings. And what they do there is they're fanning um, a pheromone, saying this is the home. Oh, right. It's like landing signals at Heathrow <laughs> in pheromone form. And then they'll, you'll really see them marching. They're lovely, but most of them are heading that way now. That's fairly quick. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it's very quick. Didn't normally happen that quick. The only way to ensure that you get the whole swarm is to get the queen in there. And normally what you do is you get the core of the swarm in the box, and the rest will follow because they know the queen's in there. Here we don't know where the queen is. We don't even know if the queen's in there. Yeah, word might have got out. Oh, look at them going now. Now look at them. Oh, that's good. I love them. They're gorgeous creatures. You can see them all marching up. Excuse me, kids. They, they are absolutely wonderful creatures. They really are. They? Um, what, what Spielberg did for sharks, someone did for bees in the, that film, The Swarm. The swarm of bees is so gentle. They, um, when they're in swarm, they've got no babies to protect. The, yeah, don't don't swat them. They're just coming to have a look. They're not in, they're not in aggressive mode at all. They're just coming to have a look at you. Yeah, they will sense that. Yeah. No, it's bad. So, but it, well, look at me. You're not allergic to. It. Obviously, you're not allergic to. It. I'm not allergic, but I don't like being stung. I really don't like being stung. So I wouldn't be doing this if I thought it was going to be stung. Wow. Now they're now they're actually uh, really piling in, aren't they? That's glorious. But they're, they're, some of them are having second thoughts over here. It's like they're having a party conference. I do hope they go in. Because they could potentially... Oh, they could be, yeah, they could potentially leave. Yeah, there's no... Uh, up to three days, effectively, you can lose, it, lose the swarm. If they decide they're not happy, they'll go. But they better hurry up because... Um, well, tomorrow we'll forecast some rain and it'll kill them. Unless they're in undercover. Well, the rain was gone. Uh, yeah. 
Now, see the bee above the hole? There's a bee above the hole upside down. Yes. That bee has arched its back end and is flapping its wings. Yes. And what that's doing is it's um, signaling, good signaling pherom via pheromones. This it could be the bit of the home. They're, they're on the edges. See the other one near me as well, my yes. side? Doing exactly the same. Yeah, there's a, there's a stream of pheromones coming out of, out of those bees that's telling the other bees that this is the home. They all do it at their individual hives. It's part of the navigation. It's like the landing lights at Heathrow, effectively. They're very clever, aren't they? They're incredible. Absolutely incredible creatures. space for a big colony, a starter colony. So size it's spot on. And I've also put some food in there with a, an attractant. So that will be oh thank you very much. Yeah. And you can't see it very clearly because there are you know, several thousand bees it's hard to track it all of a sudden but if this was sped up you'll see they that all of that's getting smaller and smaller. Yeah. Also, there's a couple of bees doing a little dance in there as well. It's called a waggle dance. And that's how they tell the other bees where foraging food is. Uh, they've covered over half the hole climbing in now. So the, the whole process is speeding up. But they will not all go in there until uh, later on this evening. So if you don't mind, I'm going to go away now and I'll come back this evening and collect them about half eight-ish. Because they're normally, if they're in, they're going to stay in and they're buttoned up. All I'm going to do is put that lid on and take them away. Is that all right? Oh, no, that's no problem. They, these will be in a, a, a brand new beehive tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, well, they'll be... Uh, to like royalty. They do seem to like that box, don't they? That's good. This is the first one I've collected from a driveway. And all the trees, roof, chimneys, all over the place. You know, uh, bushes. That's the favourite. And that head height in the bush somewhere. And you've got to cut them out. But never on a floor like this. Uh, well, I, 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 No, they love leaves. If there's, a sp if there's a space in, they'll love that. Yeah. It's a great spot for them. It's a good size, you see. Good size for them. Yeah, they're just coming in and having a nose. They're not, they're not being aggressive. on the front they're all fanning there's a lot of bees fanning there the entrance holes bunged up with bees <laughs> yeah get in well let's hope they stay in there but they've bunged the hole up so they need to get in I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm just going to remove one of the frames because it will make room for them. They seem to be clogging up. 